In this video I want to discuss uh, different bar types that we use. Um, one of the bar types that we uh, really st feel very strongly about is what's called a Rinko spectrum chart. And in this chart, just to kind of show you, um, the body of the bar itself is going to be four ticks and then the breakout point and the anchor for the next open is going to be one tick offset. So what does that mean? It means that every one of these red bodies of the bar is four ticks from high to low. And you can see they're very, very consistent and they're very, very smooth. So uh, with that, uh, every time there's a new bar down, so we're going to talk from this high right here. So let's just say we have a new direction down. The open of the next bar is going to be one tick from the high of the body. And you'll notice that the open of the next bar is one tick from the high of the previous body. And the open of the next bar is one tick from the high of the previous body. And what this does is it creates a very symmetrical look with bars that are all the same size. So they're all four tick body bars. And for the new bar to break out, because we're anchoring one tick from the prior bars, body bars high, it only takes another tick in the direction of the prior bar in order for us to get a new bar in the direction of the prior bar. Uh, so breakouts and trends that are in the direction of the prior bar require less data to make happen. And then when you get to a situation like this where you have a reversal, keep in mind the open was anchored here and if this bar had gone down a little further it would have made another red bar down. So because this open has now been exceeded by four ticks going the other direction, we now have a reversal bar or an up bar. And then we'll repeat that same process. The open is one tick from the prior bar body's low. The open is one tick from the prior bar low. The next bar, same thing. Open is one tick from the prior bar's low. And if we fail to make at least two ticks in the direction of that retracement, and then we put in another four ticks to the downside, you'll see that we'll get a reversal bar, again, heading us in a downward direction. So this type of bar structure allows for a much smoother, more consistent chart. So if we were to take a look at this on a little bit of a higher time frame, just to give you some perspective between uh, tick charts, I've built a uh, 1500 tick chart and I have uh, drawn circles in on the major highs and lows here. So you can see kind of where the major highs and lows are. And you can look at the bar structure and take a look at how smooth or not smooth that bar structure looks. Uh, I'll change this chart to a 30 minute chart so you can see uh, really the same equivalent with the same highs and lows. Uh, we're not actually uh, changing the data structure. What we're doing is changing how the data structure is actually plotted. So instead of 1,500 transactions to make a bar, now we're going to have a bar that's 30 minutes long. And you can see here's the same. I'll spread it out a little bit here. Here's the same highs and lows using a 30-minute bar. So you can see where all of our circles were. Uh, again, same highs and lows in the market. Uh, obviously the bar structure and the way that it looks is considerably different because of uh, the type of bar structure that we're using. Now to kind of show you a, a longer term Renko spectrum bar, we use a 48 tick body and a 12 tick from the higher low offset and reversal spot. I'll go ahead and run this for you real quick and you can see here is the same data set with the types of bars that we're using with the exact same highs and lows defined in the market. Uh, so you can see very clearly just from the look of this chart that it's a much smoother chart 
it filters out a lot of the noise in the market and we have found this to be the best type of chart to use in our automated systems and our discretionary trading so it's just important for you to understand why we're using these bars so we can filter out noise and the smoothness and consistency that they'll provide for you on the chart will allow you to stay in your winning trades a little longer and also not get chopped up when the market uh, doesn't have a lot of follow through.